This right here, this is my shop. And if you look up in this top left corner up here, you can see the mildew, the mold, whatever it is. I'm not 100% sure what it is. I just know how I'm going to get rid of it. If you look over here, right here and right here, you'll see that there is, and there's some over here, but it doesn't really grow on this side. It just tends to grow over here, covers this up, this, and all over here, and you can kind of see it on the ground some. But So this right here and this right here, I took just a... A, a spritzer bottle psh, 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 and I sprayed that down with the solution that we're going to use here and it soft washed it just fine okay but that would take forever and a day to do a building like this and I'd have to get up on a scaffolding and I don't want to do all that so I started looking into soft washing you're looking into soft washing that's why you're here and I found that this is a relatively simple process sodium hypochlorite chloride it's basically bleach um, I've got I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I've got some pool solution that I got at the local pool store. And then actually the local soft washing guru gave me a gallon um, of his stuff for free because he's a nice guy. And uh, you know what he told me to do? He said, man, he said, if you want to try this foam cannon. So in here, what I've got now is I've got two cups of eight and a quarter or eight and a half percent sodium hypochlorite, and then I put a cup of the 12 and a half percent, the good stuff. And uh, what most guys do um, is they'll put some kind of surfactant in there, a soap or whatever. Dawn, I've heard, is what a lot of people use, uh, but Dawn and bleach don't mix real well, so you may not want to do that. I'm going straight this in water. I'm going to put some water through there. I'm going to give it a shot and see. So if you're interested, sit back and watch, and we'll see what happens. Oh, you should be wearing PPE and all that stuff too, but I'm a rebel. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give it just a few minutes I'm not gonna let it dry but I'm gonna give it a few minutes to do its thing and then I'm gonna rinse it off and see what happens and maybe it'll work So, maybe that'll turn out in the video, but there's a few spots that I, I may have could have let it linger a little longer. Um, maybe a surfactant, like everybody recommends, would have done, done me some uh, good there. 
but uh, overall it looks light years better than it did 10 minutes ago so if you're thinking about getting into soft washing and you don't have a ton of spot i mean let's see where's the cup so i've got 10 ounces left i'd have to do some uh, mental gymnastics to figure out i put two cups um let's see so I put 16 ounces of 8.5% uh, bleach, and then I put 8 more ounces, so 16, that's 4, that's 24, right? Yeah, 4, 8, yeah, okay, so 24. So I used 14 ounces to spray that, um, which does go through the juice. I'm using the juice, but, I mean, that's all I had to do, and I've got some left over, so... Um, and I sprayed those parts right there, the down, the down stuff, this stuff right here. When I did that, I sprayed that with the eight and a quarter or whatever, whatever uh, this stuff is. Great value Walmart bleach. It's eight and a quarter percent sodium hypochlorite. So, I mean, you don't have to have the good stuff, but if you want to do it right, you want the good stuff. This was just an experiment for me, and uh, looks like it worked. So, if you're thinking about soft washing, I mean maybe consider a foam cannon. All right then.